Today, we've got an amazing news for the Edin emulator users. A brand new update just dropped version 0.03 RC1 and it's back with performance boosts, gameplay fixes and some really cool features for both Android and PC users. So if you've been struggling with lags or glitches in games like Tears of the Kingdom, Fire Emblem or Mario Kart, this update might finally fix them. But before we dive in, if you love emulators, switch games on mobile and smooth gaming experience, make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any parts of my video whenever I drop them. Let's dive in. Now if you are new here and you are wondering what is Edin emulator, well it is a Nintendo Switch emulator that lets you play Switch games right on your Android phone or PC. So it's just like you would on a real console. And in today's video, I'm going to break down the latest change logs from the newest release version 0.0.3 RC1. This version brings some serious performance upgrade, graphics phases and more. So let's jump right in. Okay, so let's quickly look at how to download and install the emulator on both Android and PC. Now visit the link, you should see a page like this. For Windows users, go with this one. I mean this one. Just download this one. And for Android users, download this one. Just choose this link. Now here, it should take you to a page like this. And this is the change logs. You can read them if you want. So after that, scroll down until you see the download links. Now this one is for Linux, for Linux users you have to choose this one and for Windows users you have to go with this one. And also Android users you have to choose between the standard and the optimized version. So you have to go with this one, any of this one. So I will download it and I've already downloaded the file so there's no need for me to download it again. I'll just cancel it so after getting the file remember you have to get your product keys and firmware you have to extract the emulator extract the extract the firmware as well and also extract the product keys open it launch the emulator now it says product keys. This one simply means you have to install the product keys. Just head there and then press install decryption keys. Select this one and then locate the folder that contains your product keys. So after that, select your product keys. Now let's install the firmware. Select this one and then locate the folder that contains your firmware zip file. Select it to start the installing. Okay, so now we are done with the installation of product keys and the firmware. So for our games to appear at the home screen, you can see something like double tap or double click to add game file. Double click that, select the folder that contains your switch games or switch game files. After that, select on select folder. Now come here like this, right click, tip in scan self folders. And then here you go these are your games now under the performance mode let's start with the big one eddie emulator now has a fast cpu time and fast gpu time options so um, these are like little overclock buttons inside the emulator and they can boost your fps especially on low-end android phone or laptops but be careful they might make some games unstable if you push it too far try it out on a few games and see what works for your device next up we have the jits or the jit backend has been upgraded 
Basically, the emulator is now way better at translating switch instructions into stabs your device understands. So um, that means faster performance across the board, loading time, status and FPS should all feel smoother now. Now let's talk about visual. So if you ever seen a black square, green screen or blurry graphics, this part is for you. And they've fixed the FMV screen back. They've also improved support for MSAA, especially for games like Civilization. They've added sampling shading, which gives your game sharper, higher quality graphics. They've also fixed that annoying bug where setting games just lines to a black screen. And also, now you can even drop the resolution scale to 20x25x. Perfect for low-end phones that were struggling before. Now here is the exciting part for game lovers. Fire Emblem, Tree Houses, those ugly black squares are gone. Tears of the Kingdom, Shrine textures are now finally rendering properly. And also, Echoes of Wisdom, Rift visuals are now fixed with the new Trivia stenciling. They've also fixed the weird glitchy graphics in Mario Plus Ravis and thanks to the Alpha Copy support team. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they fixed the controller freezing bugs in the applet menu and also Donkey Kong Tropical Freezes Player 2 controller disconnect issue has been fixed. Now this is a bonus physics. You will also get hardware accelerated video playback so cutscenes and trailers now run smoother, a new battery indicator inside the switch home menu and crashes caused by the newer switch 2 update files all has been patched up. Honestly, this is one of the biggest adding updates so far. So, um, we can't go all the change logs, so I summarized the change logs to you guys. So, um, those of you who want to download the emulator, check this video description for a download link. And also, smash the like button if you are hyped for these changes. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more emulator things. See you next time.